I hate mannequins. They are so creepy. Soulless plastic bodies that might be missing limbs. Blank faces with dead features. They fall perfectly into that uncanny valley that puts us all on edge. There's a reason they're always around for the scares in places like Doctor Who and Resident Evil. What if I told you that the mannequins that we know and fear today have nothing on what we used to use a hundred years ago? Feast your eyes on this. No thanks. Kinda hate it. And yet mannequins like these were all the rage back in the 1920s. The age that brought us flappers and speakeasies also gave us these lifelike mannequins that were made up of wax skin, glass eyes, porcelain teeth, and human hair. The guy behind this nightmare fuel was named Pierre Amat, a Dutch mannequin designer living in Paris. And he took his job seriously. Even going so far as to give his creations names like Elaine and Roberta. All that was missing was like a child's soul infused into the flesh. All those details made them way too expensive to produce for the growing demand of stores, which led us to the modern plastic and fiberglass designs that we have today. Can you imagine what one of these hyper-realistic wax mannequins would look like if it was melting away in the hot sun? As if I needed more reasons to say, 